yeah okay so i'm about to get ready so that i can film this video for you guys that you're about to watch tips for female police officers but i really need to share this jewelry company with you guys because my mind is blown this is ana luisa <laughs> i love little pouches they're so cute and they are a sustainably sourced jewelry company based out of new york and their jewelry is made out of recycled material how amazing is that that is such a genius idea because seriously we need to recycle more i wear the ring and the bracelet every day i basically don't take it off unless i have to go to work such good quality and their pieces start at 39 dollars, so it's pretty darn affordable they're also so gracious and are giving me a discount code to share with you guys this is the little sunset necklace it's so pretty these are the two pieces that i have not been able to take off it's just like a little braided type gold ring i think that it's so pretty and it goes with everything i love rings like this because if you guys have been watching my videos for a while you know that i like to wear multiple rings on my fingers this one has been added to my ring rotation i've been wearing these non-stop for at least a month and they do not tarnish whatsoever they do not turn your finger green these are gold plated and this is the bracelet it's just like a really pretty twisted kind of bracelet it kind of reminds me of the bracelets that my mom used to wear i've been wearing these all over the place these never leave my hands <laughs> I was gonna wear this necklace today, but I'm actually going to wear colorful earrings. If you guys want to check out Anna Luisa, I definitely recommend it. All of the information will be in the description box down below. I'm so obsessed with these pieces. They're so pretty. And you can save 10% off with my code. Okay, so now I need to get ready so that I can film this video for you guys. <laughs> hello welcome to today's video i wanted to talk about my biggest tips for female police officers if you are interested in going into this career these are my biggest tips for you <laughs> i get a lot of questions on what advice i would give to female police officers so i figured i would just do a video on it so that is what we're going to talk about today i have my notes here so i'm just gonna go down the list if you haven't subscribed please make sure that you do before you leave always remember that you got this <laughs> my biggest piece of advice would be how to deal with sexist men no matter where you are you're going to encounter some men not a lot there's a lot of guys that are actually supportive of female police officers but you might come in contact with one throughout your career so the way that i deal with it is i call them out right then and there if they say something stupid or sexist to me now that took a couple years for me to kind of find my voice in this career however long it takes you try to find it as soon as you can so that you can stick up for yourself some guys just don't like the idea of females being in law enforcement. That's something that is their own issue. It has nothing to do with you. Don't take it personal. Don't let these sexist men get in your head and make you feel bad about yourself. They're clearly low lives to begin with. <laughs> if they can't deal with a female police officer in 2020, then they probably shouldn't be there to begin with. Let's be honest. So all you really need to do is just continue to work hard and show them and prove to them that you are worthy of being in this career. You are strong enough and you are able to defend yourself out in the street, defend your partner, and you are good at this job. Just prove that. I remember one time I couldn't get the USB into the computer because I was turned at a weird angle and this guy was like oh well if it was a lipstick you'd probably be able to figure it out you're gonna encounter it whether it's out on the street or whether it's people that you work with no one that I work with in my actual department is like that thank goodness so I kind of looked out but there's other officers in other departments where I've encountered a little bit of 
ignorance when it comes to females so you just have to stick up for yourself if they continue to do it say if you work with an officer that continues to be a sexist pig you can just talk to that officer individually and just explain to him that you're not comfortable with the things that he's saying if he doesn't stop after that then go to your superiors go to your higher ups and talk to them about what's going on because at the end of the day you want to feel comfortable at work we deal with so much crap to begin with that you don't need to deal with this kind of shenanigans inside your own department with the people that you work with. I gauge the situation, I'll either just laugh it off because that guy is clearly an idiot and I don't even want to spend time engaging with this moron or I'll just tell him off right then and there. That's just the kind of personality I have, but just gauge the situation. I stick up for myself 110% because no man is gonna tell me what I can do, okay? <laughs> when it comes to dating, do not date in your department oh my word that is just the biggest mistake that you could ever do because if you break up or it doesn't end up working you have to still continue to work with that person and it's just so awkward unless you have a good friendly relationship after you break up which nine times out of ten people just don't so that is such a big mistake even if it's in departments that are surrounding where you work i just think that it's a big no-no because you never know when you have to see them on calls this makes your life much more stressful than you need it to be and it's not fun to deal with another thing do not be that slutty girl in your area <laughs> You may get a lot of attention from men, whether it's people that you deal with on the street or people in your department. Do not hook up with every Tom, Dick, and Harry, okay? It's just gonna make you look bad. I can't stress this enough. I've seen it happen so many times to other female police officers and it's just like, what are you doing? Use your head. Okay, there's a million people in the world. Just not a good idea to be hooking up with people from here, people from there. Just no, avoid all of that and don't do it. <laughs> Stick up for yourself, okay? This goes back to what I was just talking about with the sexist men. I know sometimes when we get into these male-dominated careers, we feel like our voice isn't there anymore and we can't stick up for ourselves and speak our truth but i definitely think that it's important to do so i try to fit in as much as i can with my co-workers just because i think that's important to establish a good rapport with the people that you work with and if something's not right or they think that i did something wrong or whatever i always stick up for myself depending on where you work they just want to shut you out just because you're a female and it's like no i still exist i still work here do not shut me out don't disregard how i feel or how I want to handle the situation depending on what call it is. Sometimes it might feel like they don't want to listen to your ideas. So try to dismiss that as much as you can. Let them hear you. If you have input on something, let them hear you. You need to remain respectful 110%. Respect is such a big thing. So don't lose the respect, but also make sure that your peers hear what your opinion is keep partying to a minimum you just started and you're going out partying and getting into altercations you want to keep a low profile because you are representing your department when you go out into the world you do not want to get in trouble for acting like a yahoo for drinking too much you do not want that so make sure you keep partying to a minimum don't feel like you need to look a certain way. I personally do not wear makeup to work. If I do, the rare occasion where I feel like I want to look a little bit jazz, I'll use lip balm and I'll do a little bit of mascara. You will never, okay, never, catch me wearing all of this stuff on duty. Never. You never will. <laughs> and if I do, holy crap, pinch me. I personally just like to look natural. My biggest thing is always having my hair pulled together and looking professional in a low bun nice and sleek i have a few videos on how i do my hair i'll leave that in the screen and the description box other than that i do not do a full face of makeup it's just my hair in a low pony and then obviously a clean uniform but don't feel like you have to get dialed up and look 
cute all the time. You're not there to look cute. You're there to do your job to serve and protect your community. Obviously, I want to like look the best that I can. So that's why I like to focus on skincare and make sure that my skin's good because I always have bare skin on a regular basis. So just do what little things that make you feel good and put together. To me, that is having a sleek bun. <laughs> Don't let people take advantage of you. If you're just getting hired, senior officers may expect you to take all of their calls. And quite honestly, um, that's not how it works where I am. If it's how that works in other departments, then listen to what your FCO or your sergeants have to say to make sure that we do our own work and that we're not passing it off to other officers. And my last tip would definitely be stay true to yourself. Don't change who you are based on people that you work with. Stay true to who you are. Sometimes people just get lost in who they work with and they feel like they have to put a front up in order to fit in. Just be yourself. People will like you for who you are, not who you changed to be. I've always been a happy-go-lucky, energetic, goofy kind of person, and I still continue that at work. I don't change for anyone. Everyone across the board that's in my life will say, she's always like that. <laughs> Because I just don't change for anyone or anything. When I first started, I thought that I had to act a certain way in order to be taken serious and to actually be considered a cop. But that's not true at all. As long as you are assertive and you remain in control of the call that you're on, that's all that matters. You're not going to catch me acting like a goofball with a bunch of criminals out on the street because I have to remain in control and assertive when I'm on calls. But when I'm back at the station hanging out with my coworkers, obviously I'm gonna act myself. I know I felt a certain way when I first started where I'm like, oh my God, I'm not serious enough or I'm not stern enough and that's not the case, okay? You will go out there and learn how to handle calls but you don't have to lose yourself in that. Just stay true to yourself. Those are my biggest tips that I have to share with you guys. I hope this helps. Thank you so much for watching this video and until next time, I'll talk to you guys later.